the Hands Painting Party. This ain't your daddy's painting class. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mary Houlihan. Yeah, welcome to the show. Here we are. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me, let me do something cool real quick. All right, so share screen, share screen, Chrome tab. Okay. All right, welcome to the show. Yeah. Do you hear it? <laughs> yeah, welcome. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's enough of that. <laughs> Guys, I haven't figured out how to get my soundboard to work, um, but that soundboard was pretty good, you have to admit. Maybe that will be my new one, where it's just honks and horns. Oh no, air raid. <laughs> Woo, whistle, air horn. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Hi, hello, hey, oh, hello. Yeah, babe, let's freaking go. Housekeeping, what's that? We'll get to that. Honestly, I don't know what it means when you guys say good Darcy. Can you explain the reference? Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, anyways, here we are at Mary Cool Hands Painting Party. It's the only show where you paint and chat and have fun with your friends that ever existed. So, it should be pretty fun. Today's theme is Music is my life. The lyrics are my story. So, you could paint like a music thing or like, um, you know, a James Taylor because he's, you know, writes songs and lyrics. You could paint, um, you could paint like, uh, um, you could paint like, uh, you could paint Julia Stiles in, in that one movie because she dances to ballet music. So really there's a lot of directions you could go in. People in chat, are you painting? <laughs> Okay, all right. Oh, I like that. Okay. Well, anyways, let's bring out my wonderful guests. Here they come. It's Brad Howe and Kate Sweeney. Woo! How we doing? Hello. Pretty good. Okay, someone has a cool light. <laughs> So you know, I saw I saw your light a little bit earlier. What is it? A ball? Is it a spinning oh, ball? What is it? Yeah, it's a spinning ball. Oh, I don't yeah. think I can move this over. All right. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> it's a party ball. Oh, cool. <laughs> Looks good. You know, I, I, okay. Oh, sorry. No, no. 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 <laughs> well, while you try to remember what you were going to say, sounds like a pretty good time for mousekeeping. Mousekeeping? What's that? Well, you see, mousekeeping is housekeeping. At the top of the meeting, you might say, here is some housekeeping, and you'll say, save questions till the end, or, you know, other, whatever the rules are for that meeting. But I say the rules for the show, and there's a gift of a mouse sweeping with a broom. So that's why I call it mousekeeping. So, yeah, um, you guys paint or draw at home, and you can uh, share your art online with hashtag Mary Painting Party, and we will screen share it, and we'll be like, wow, what a great job, and that sort of thing. So, I think that's kind of fun, and you'll probably, like, meet friends. You'll meet internet friends doing that, and that's kind of a nice deal. Um... What else can I tell you? Okay, so tweet that and support <laughs> the show at planetscum.live. Yeah. There's this awesome graphic of a bucket. It's supposed to represent putting money in a bucket. 
and the bucket represents me and Bryson and Forrest and everybody who works here, um, our bank accounts. So we would love it if you put money in there because um, we could buy things. So just putting that out there, you could enjoy the show for free or if you want, you, could, you know, give us a little <laughs> tip. I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's kind of a two epic t-shirts to choose from. Oh my goodness. Oh. Come on, look at that. Hello. That's so cool. And so get a load of this. It's like a bunch of cute pictures. It's like my dog and little hearts really and a mm -hmm. little mouse. Okay. And it's all the things. Crayons. Like gamer's den. <laughs> God, like, like blow, gamer's den. blow that up. Put on that on a shirt. So, you know, check that out. And also, if you donate to the show, you know, with that bucket icon, um, you can email me your receipt with your mailing address, and I might mail you treats. Well, I will mail you treats, and they'll look like this, you know, like stickers or maybe like a note that says, oh, you're so great, Let's keep up the good work, and that yeah. sort of thing. Or you could, like, make a shout out to your best friends, and I don't know, just, just tell me that you donated, and I'll make it worth your while, honey. <laughs> And I guess that's it for mask keeping. Now, Brad, were you going to say something about Keith's lamp or? <laughs> no, it was like, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's just, this is like, you know, I haven't been performing in a while and all this stuff wants to come out. I want to make all these, they're unnecessary comments. It just looks like a good time, good party. In oh, her yeah. room, what? I don't know. I like it. Uh. Have you guys already started drawing or painting? No, yes. I, 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 I'm, I don't oh, know. Oh, I'll start. Hello. Oh, there it is. I'm looking for some inspiration. Oh, that's smart. Where do you, are you Googling stuff? Well, I asked, what's everyone's favorite band? And then oh, someone yeah. said something I've never heard of. And then another question about my party late. Oh. <laughs> Look at your little icon. That's so cute. Oh, that's my dog roommate. Oh. Oh. TV on the radio. Okay. TV, I can OTR. Draw TV on the radio. Do you guys approve painting with the Pilot G2? Yeah, yeah. I think that's the pen. great. I'm doing the Crayola special. Very nice. Okay. I was thinking of wearing my dog today. Kate, you got one of these? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we have no. well, we have something to cut our nails in, and Aww. then we have a few little. Um, I just put her in a tote bag if I have to take her somewhere. Smart. Oh, that's cute. And then I have a bunch of. She has like a bunch of little sweaters from Five Below. <laughs> she gets cold when she goes outside. She has sweaters <laughs> from Five oh, Below. Yes, Five Below. So which five below are you hitting up? Um, either the one where my parents live in New Jersey or the one at that mall in Queens. Nice, nice. I forget where that is. Middle Village? Maybe Central? Yeah. That's the closest five below to me. Five oh, below no, sells like knickknacks and stuff, correct? Oh, like, yeah. Like fun stuff. That's where like half of the props for the special and CGP came from. Because <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they absolutely. also have a good return policy. <laughs> they also uh, you scan your own items and pay and it's kind of on the honor system <laughs> yeah that's a new thing <laughs> just putting a lot of faith in like literal tweens <laughs> I feel like they have a lot of fun summer stuff like boogie boards and pool noodles yes I got my boogie board from there <laughs> I'm actually uh, going boogie board shopping tomorrow. No, no joke. 
Oh, it's it's well, for I'm something, sure. but I haven't bought a boogie board in. So, uh, so not in New York, but. Uh, well, where are you going? Sports Authority. Uh, I think we go to Dick's. Dick's, so they have them. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. The one online looks like a uh, just like a tie dye one. That that'll stand out. That's what I have. <laughs> you have the tie dye one. Yeah, I have, I have a blue tie dye one from Five Below. It's great. It's really fun to boogie board. Mm -hmm. I have some inner tubes from Five Below. They all have leaks, though. That's why I keep <laughs> buying new ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Here? What's that? I haven't been to the beach this year. I believe that. Have you guys been? Oh, yeah. Oh, Speaking yeah. of shells. <laughs> or am I not supposed to say that? Oh, right. <laughs> Um, I forgot to mention that, yes, last week the theme was the sea, and I painted a shell. And this week the theme is music is my life, the lyrics are my story. And so I'm painting a shell. Um, but this <laughs> one is kind of more orange. And, you know, the shells are very musical. You could, some of them you could blow into and sound will come out. You could put them up to your ear and you can hear some whoosh, 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 that's music to some um you know pulling muscles from the shell that's a song with mm. lyrics and shell rhymes with bell and bell makes sound so honey how can you tell me this does not fit the theme it does Ooh. are you gonna ride the boogie board or is it just a prop yeah yeah prop and i'm gonna do it <gasps> I can't Where wait. are you gonna do it? I think Rockaway. Very nice. Yeah. Um, it's those little things you we grow up and we forget how much fun those things are. So mm -hmm. fun. It's also well, just nice I, to float around on it too. Yeah. Once I, you know, got wind of body surfing. Uh, I, I was gonna I ask. You, you can body my surf, huh? board like a sack. So you've got that down pat, huh? Well, you know, I, I used Easier. to. Yeah. I yeah. used to. <laughs> but I got swept up too much a couple times that now, you know, I don't really do it as much because sometimes if you get swept up too much and it really takes you, then you might scrape your um, knees on tiny rocks. And oh. it's just not a good look. Mm -hmm. One time I was body surfing and I scraped my knees and when I got out, everyone was like, yikes. Oh. So it's made me feel a little shy since then. <laughs> when I was a kid, I had to get, I tried to go surfing with my cool older cousin twice, mm -hmm. two separate times. And each time I got caught in a riptide and had to get rescued. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah. I was completely fine, but you know, it was like the lifeguard had to blow a whistle. It's my daughter out there. Everyone had to watch, <laughs> and then I had to get pulled out of the ocean. I was completely fine, but. Mm. Yep. <laughs> I'm using a glitter pen to draw TV on the radio. Can you see the glitter pen in it? Oh, yeah. Look at oh, that. great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice and close. Yeah. Glitter. Cool. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So you're making a radio that's playing a TV. Is that right? Yeah, because the oh, TV is on the radio, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably sure. I thought it was going to be on top. Well, that's an idea, huh? Hey, that's, that's how one person might do it. You know, that, that what sense. makes what makes uh, the stuff so cool and good is that we all have different ideas, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I guess. I am starting to draw in 1996 <gasps> Ford Mustang Cobra. Oh my god. Outside of my local Dairy Queen in my hometown. Because when I think of music, 
I think of pulling up outside the Dairy Queen in the middle of the summer, and just <laughs> just sitting there playing some hair metal. That's, that's what inspired me earlier, so that's what I'm gonna do. I gotta okay. ask: Is this Dairy Queen? Is it? Um... I mean, no, excuse me. I, I didn't mean to say Dairy Queen. Uh, Carol's Dairy Bar. It's a local spot. Whoa. Okay, so that kind of answers my question, I think. My question was going to be, is it the kind where the building is old-timey looking, or yeah. is it, like, modern construction? And by modern, I mean, like, built in the 80s. Sure, years. sure. This one, this one's old. Oh, I knew it! This I knew it! It's like a 20 by 20 cinder block building with a, a nice old-fashioned sign. It's been there forever. Classic spot. Do you guys know if they uh, if they demolished Satin Dolls, the strip club where they filmed the Bada Bing? Because I drove by it the other day and it looks kind of demolished. But I oh, like, I don't Am know. Am I looking at the wrong building? The last the last time I drove past it, it wasn't demolished, but. I don't remember when that was, but it was less than five years ago, I think. Oh, Mary, I was in practice for today, I was trying to draw Sopranos characters. So I tried <laughs> to draw Olivia Soprano and it didn't quite work. Oh, she looks so mean. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the mallish then? Something maybe across the street from it is demolished. Anyways, there's there's an open lot if you want to build something over oh. there. Is that close to you? It's pretty close. A lot of The I Sopranos see. is filmed really close to where I'm from, but that's mm -hmm. a little bit more east and south than you. Mm -hmm. I'm in Satch. I'm from Satrielli's country. Nice, nice. <laughs> I'm googling what town is Satrielli's in. I think it's in Elizabeth, right? Oh, when I yeah. I just watched The Sopranos, and after every episode, I would go to SopranosLocations.com, and I would just mm -hmm. look at each scene and <laughs> 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 remark on each location. Yeah, that's funny. Mm -hmm. Sometimes You're you not, see these, these, like, I'm not saying you buy the strip club from uh, Sopranos, but sometimes you'll see iconic uh, places, either uh, in movies or even like, like there's like that famous movie theater in LA, that uh, Cinerama. Mm. If you had enough money, do you think you'd go off and buy that just to save it instead of it being, uh, you know, put into like condominiums or something? I think so. I think that's you know, what I mean, Metro like, oh, no, no celebrity wants to buy that movie theater. Mm. That's just going to be something else. Mm -mm -mm. I'm shaking my damn What's head. Is it okay for me to keep asking people what bands they like? Sure. Yeah, please. Okay, what is a band? Name a band. Or a musical artist. Ben Lizzy. Oh, churches with a V. Did someone say Ben Lizzy? I did. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like Ben Lizzy. Mm -hmm. Good vibes. It sounds great in my Mustang that I'm drawing. Hell yeah. <laughs> So, like, did anything cool happen to you guys this week? Or interesting? Or bad? <laughs> hmm, let's see. What, what did boring. I do this week? Oh, I went to a show for the first time. Oh, what was it? Uh, James Ferraro. Um, oh. He's like a electronic artist. 
and there was uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people there, which Where was weird. It? Yeah. <laughs> I felt weird about all the people. Mm -hmm. Were you oh. scared? What did you feel like? I was a little anxious. Yeah. I eventually like warmed up to it, and a lot of people were like, a lot of people were wearing masks, and you know, you had to be vaccinated. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I like worked myself up and I went inside and it was okay. Yeah, but nice. I'm not used to being in crowds. Yeah. And I don't know if that's COVID or just I'm not used to it, you know? It's, I think it's mm -hmm. reminding us that crowds can be annoying regardless. Yeah. Like, uh, so there's too many people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh, I also went to a music show and I've lived here for many, many years. I'm not really proud to admit this. I feel like I almost never go mm -hmm. to small venue music shows. Mm. I always go to like a Joan Beach, lawn seats. <laughs> I always go to those. And I went to a small uh, small show. And yes, it was probably about 150 people. And mu much younger than I was, but which was kind of cool. I felt, <laughs> I felt, like, I felt, like, I felt like I'm like young. I felt yeah. young. A, I don't go to a lot of those shows. B, I'm with a lot of like really young people far younger, at least 10 years younger than I was. And uh, I had a really good time, but I I agree with you that uh, it felt a little funny uh, considering the times. Yeah. I was what okay was with show? it, but I was just like, what's that? What was the show? Uh, the, they're called the Lemon Twigs. Mm. They kind of like got like a classic uh, 70s rock vibe. They're these young guys from uh, Long Island. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Are you from Long Island? I'm not. I'm from uh, Massachusetts. But I, I had a really good time. Okay, I made a lyrics drawing with them listening. Ooh. Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak. Oh, this looks boy. like um <laughs> like a profile picture. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> On like live journal or my yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> when I were in high school, I worked at a shop, right? Um, and there's only like I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 songs that would play over the intercom, and two of them were Thin Lizzy songs, so it was just <laughs> jailbreak <laughs> and the boys are back in town. That's really great, right? At the supermarket, <laughs> that's so funny. Because those are like not what I'm thinking if I'm programming. Yeah. I mean, there was also a, at least three Billy Joel songs. So I guess that, no, that one yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I used, to, I used to work at the supermarket as well. You know, uh, getting ready for like a snowstorm. The place is packed. Mm -hmm. Get the thin Lizzy cranking up. <laughs> Does your supermarket also get, break get, the, get the bread. Get the bread. <laughs> did, did, did your supermarket also play thin Lizzy? No, ours were like like Paula Abdul. Oh, we had Paula. You know, just, like, just kind of like fun, easy spectrum music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had Paula. You know, I saw a music act this week. I'm remembering now. It was they were just playing at the place that I like to get breakfast, mm -hmm. and there's an outdoor stage. And I remember this because. I'm seeing them and I'm listening to them and I'm thinking, this is so unusual. This sounds like 106.7 Light <laughs> FM, which you only hear in the supermarket or the nail salon or yeah. just very like errands. Like I feel like no one actually listens to that music. It feels very like it's good for commerce, like making people feel calm when they're in crowds or buying mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was just looking at this group. It was a girl singer and a guy guitarist. And I was like, what? How do your guys' brains work? Is this like your favorite music? Like you listen to this when you're at home? <laughs> like, um... They did the Corinne Bailey Ray song, you know, the one. Um, what else did they do? 
Nobody outdated. Well, you know. Light FM, 106.7. You get the gist. I see it, yeah. Hollister music? Maybe that's what I would call it. <laughs> not that... Mm, it's not music that plays in Hollister, but it's music that you would be wearing like Hollister clothes mm -hmm. and like puka shell jewelry to listen to the music. I saw some uh, young kid walking down the street the other day had a... Uh, remember those like 90s like white shell necklaces? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Are those back? <laughs> I, somebody who's maybe. wearing it. Wow. Maybe, maybe that's their version of like going a uh, retro white shell necklace. I can see that. Young folks love the nineties. Mm hmm. McDougall says that Brad from Massachusetts must have had those lawn seats at the Tweeter Center. Of course, and I don't call it the Comcast Center. It is the Tweeter Center. <laughs> uh, they call it the Comcast Center. I'm getting there three uh -huh. hours early at the Tweeter Center. Lawn seats only. Sorry, I got angry there. It just came out of me. Of course. Oh, that's a terrible angle. <laughs> Tweeter Center. <laughs> Brad, do you like car talk? And also, Kate, do you like car talk? I haven't I like uh, listened to it. I'm in my car talk era. Oh, look at that. I'm doing a really bad job trying to uh, redraw uh, an album cover of a band someone lists, someone put in the chat. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I'm sorry to, to keep harping on car talk. Wait, what do you mean by car talk? Like talking about oh cars? Oh my God, this... Isn't it an NPR show? It is an NPR show. Oh, and I'm getting so good. excited because this is a thing that Brad, you would love. And picturing you listening to it for the first time <laughs> and getting that joy. <laughs> oh my God. I, it's okay. two Massachusetts guys. And one of them passed away, but like a lot of the episodes are archived in podcast form. And they, you know, they have the accents really? and people call in it's a call-in show and people just say um like oh my car is doing this really weird thing and, <laughs> and they're like all right tell us about it and then you know they say well when i when i'm on the highway like once i'm going over like 50 miles per hour it makes <laughs> sort of like a ding, 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 ding. and they're like oh okay okay and then they just guess <laughs> what's wrong. They both have lots of experience working on cars. And these were they, older guys. Yeah, so they're giving educated guesses. Yeah. Um, and they're guys that are total gearheads. They know everything about cars, but they're also like geniuses who work work yeah. at MIT. So they're oh, secret my God. geniuses. I do, not, I do not know about this. I bet I would eat that up. That's you really, would really, cool. really like it. And... Um, but what about the past now? Are they continuing it? No, but there's so many episodes archived that you could really spend a good chunk of time with them. I've, I've been in a car talk phase for at least a month now. And so they do some things. They, based on your description of your car, they try to guess what it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
also based on how you say your name. They try to guess how to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> and they actually have like pretty good accuracy. Um, you know, if your name's Megan, they'll guess if it's a G or a GH, that sort of thing. And you know, they're just great guys. You know, I, 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 ha I have a podcast and I like podcasts, but there's nothing like a, a radio show and a, oh, a radio yeah. duo. You know, that's yeah. that's going to oh. become a thing of the past. Did I mention they're brothers? Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And I, I didn't even get to the best part. Their names are Tom and Ray, but... Red? Tom and Ray. Red, Ray. And their nicknames are Click and Clack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give them another season 50 years later. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's funny. I'm definitely going to check that out. They list uh, pun names of fake staff on the show, and they always make jokes uh, when they have to do, like, the station, mm -hmm. whatever you call it, when you have to say, like, what station you're on. Yeah. And they make a joke about being on NPR that, uh, you know, even though everyone that works there pretends they don't work there when we say it, this is NPR. Or, you know, some sort of self-effacing thing uh, about how they're dumb <laughs> and shouldn't be on NPR. <laughs> oh, cranky. I love them. I love them. I'm drawing another album cover. Ooh. What is it, Kate? We'll have to guess. <gasps> this feels really good. I haven't drawn in, in what seems like years. It's relaxing. It's so relaxing. Brad, did you did you pick up any hobbies when you were during um, earlier in COVID? Maybe when you're home more. Um, let's see. Oh gosh, I'm so bad with on. I, I don't know. I late. I I I'm obsessed with it, and I tell everybody about it. A late hobby of mine in the spring. I got I got my motorcycle license, and I'm like obsessed with that. Oh, cool! Wow. I'm doing that all the time. So I, don't that a, I don't know if that's a I don't know if that's a hobby. It's a, like, well, it's a lifestyle. Gotta learn that's about a it. Lifestyle change. Yeah. That's really um, cool. I've been enjoying it. Um, other than that, let's see. Are you going to do any big rides? I'm trying to do one next week. I'm going to try <gasps> and go back to Massachusetts. Cool. There's a, a, a <laughs> I'm such a nerd, but there's a famous like biker bar up there in Maine that I want to try and ride to. So there's it'll be really fun. There's a biker bar around here. You should visit. Yeah, I kind of want to just go to them. I just, I just think yeah. they're interesting. I think they're interesting uh, cultures too, just like people watching. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm not I trying agree. to be one. I'm just, I just like, yeah, whatever for fun, really. You know. Totally. What's it called? It's called. I think it's called J and S Roadhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, J and S Roadhouse in West Milford. J and S Roadhouse. I went there once. Wait, you're from West Milford? No, I'm from oh. east of there. Uh oh, okay. Yeah. What do you know about West Milford? I have a friend there. Hmm. Who's this friend? Well, somebody I'm dating, but then you know, then you start <gasps> go, well, then you start going down the rabbit hole, and then you know each other, and it's maybe it's not the you know, I'm gonna leave her so, out. So, do they live there now, or they're just from there? No, just from there. <sighs> That would be so cool if you were going to West Milford to see a game. <laughs> <laughs> Run the hog out of town. Yeah. Run the hog. But I I had gone up towards Bear... I'm not going to give away your location, but I went to like... Oh, Bear, <laughs> Bear, Mountain, to Bear Mountain. Bear Mountain! Bear Mountain! <laughs> I always see so many bikers up there. Yeah, it was very pleasant. Stopped in Pierpot. 
right along the uh, Hudson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pleasant, very pleasant. Why is that such a biker HQ? Well, because of old Route 17, of course. Yeah, why is Route 17 <laughs> such a biker haven? Well, okay, get this. There's Route 17 and then there's old Route 17. Have you heard Wait, of I didn't go down this. I went down 9W. Where is I should have gone down that. Oh, that's oh, up well, there. That's actually, up there. 9W is much prettier. Um, so Route 17 is just your basic freeway north and south. Yeah, takes sure. you from me to the city. But if you keep going north, then it uh, turns into uh, old town road, uh, old timey highway, like uh, two lanes in some parts of it, or four lanes in some parts of it. And, uh, and you know, there's uh, you might see a schoolhouse or um, an antique store or uh, cute little things on the side of the highway instead of. Well, you know, yeah, back on regular Route 17, it's all PC Richards and everything like that. <laughs> and it's windy, it's windy, and it's more of a sightseeing kind of road. You're not going to be, you know, speeding. You're going to be enjoying the scenery yeah, on old Route 17. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, anytime I go hiking up there, I always see so many, so many people on motorcycles just like having a blast. Uh, the more um, I'm doing it in the city, I, I'm finding it a little bit uh, boring. Like today, I rode it; it was just bumper to bumper. Yeah, it's not really fun. So to do that, I think people enjoy getting out like that. Actually, the, have, the Pine Barrens episode of The Sopranos was filmed up there. It was not filmed in the in the Pine Barrens. Mm. All right. All right. I was just it... trying to find a picture of myself at Deer Mountain. Where is it? Someone says bumper to bumper. Sounds like car talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Can anyone guess what I'm drawing? It was a band that was referenced in the chat. Hold up closer. Is it less than Jake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, nice. I recognized it. No big. Yes. Did you go to ska shows in New Jersey, Mary? <laughs> to what shows? Ska shows. Oh. Well, no, not really. I wanted to. They're, I feel like I didn't know where they were. Uh, I feel like the only shows that I ever heard about were like emo, screamo. Yeah. Here I am at Bear Mountain on the on the skating rink. Hey, nice. That's me. Oh, That's me. so cute. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm ready <laughs> to go. Holding on to the fence, of course. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> yes, yeah, someone did say Screamo. Um, all the local bands, it seems, I mean, I'm sure there were cool bands and I just wasn't in, in the loop about them, but all the local bands, they were MySpace scene mm -hmm. with the long hair and screaming and, you know, the names would be like, uh, uh, Derek's last <laughs> night, your <laughs> last night. Um, uh, yeah. You're yeah. choking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I can't think of any fake names. I can just remember like some actual names, which of were course. like yeah. so so dramatic. I was mm -hmm. not into it. I was into ska, and I remember making a ska friend at school because <gasps> oh, <laughs> she, yes. she was wearing, she was older, so we didn't have any classes together. 
and she was wearing a special shirt. <gasps> and I said, I love the specials. What is and she up to now? No idea. I don't even remember her name. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I remember I, I went right up there. I said, I love your shirt. And she said, oh, it's a band. And I said, honey, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Man, I would have loved to have some ska friends. There were some emos at my school, but I didn't really have a lot of friends in high school. Really? Yeah. What? Did not, did not get along with kids in my high school. Were you shy or did you fight with them? No, I was like weird. I was just like, I just, I just like couldn't relate to them. Yeah. I just didn't really, yeah, we just didn't quite work out. Mm -hmm. They all thought I was weird. I thought they were boring. Yeah. You know, that classic combo. Of course. Thank you, Dust Fowl, for getting the shirt. Bought a shirt? Yay. Oh, the amazing merch shirt that you can buy at plantscum.live slash merch. That's right. You can get a painting of my dog, Happy, or you can get a painting with all the little charms, like a little rainbow. I think I need to get that. Right? Isn't it <laughs> it's cute? It's so cute. I saw a picture on the Discord, I think, of someone mm -hmm. wearing it, and I was like, wow, that looks great. It does look great. Um, I haven't seen it in real life, but I saw a pic of someone wearing it today, and I said, oh my god, that looks so great. Oh my god, get a look at that. I'm going to give an update of my like. painting. Let's see it. <gasps> okay. Oh, very nice. I want to oh. ask the guests. <laughs> it's a 1996 Mustang in front of Carol's Dairy Bar, where I'm from. Mm -hmm. By the end of the show, I want somebody to suggest what they think is playing out of that stereo. Mm. Hence the oh. music. What is playing on that stereo mm. on a Friday night? Wait, in 1960 or now? Now. Oh, that shirt looks so good. Oh, nice. Right? Isn't that so cute? Oh my god, is that is that you and Happy in the background? Yes. <laughs> so cute. Right? That could be you, but you playing. I won't play, I'll get it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's is this a good annoying? Guess. Is this annoying me showing the albums and people guessing it? No, it's not annoying. I quite okay. like it. Okay, I have another one. Which no one, no one said this band, but I think this is the Target demo. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh. Let's see if anyone in the chat gets it. It's not no. an especially good drawing of it. Kate's just cranking them up. Did someone mention it in the chat? No. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, someone got <laughs> it immediately. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the it's a uh, sweet cheers for what three cheers for sweet revenge by oh, MCR. God. Was uh, time and the time and place we were discussing. My Chemical Romance, duh. <laughs> I I actually saw them at Starland Ballroom. Wait, what? Which? What? What? What year did you go? Do you remember? Of course, it was probably two thousand six or something. Oh, I saw them in two thousand six. Was it right <laughs> before Christmas? <laughs> Maybe. Well, what I remember, Kate Sweeney, is the reason I went. You know, nothing against MCR. I just, you know, I wasn't up on their catalog. But I was really interested in the band that was opening for them, Midtown. Do you remember if oh. Midtown opened when you saw them? Let me, I'm going to Google this. Because I remember it was right before Christmas because my ears were still ringing at, from <laughs> going to that. I wasn't into Midtown, so I don't remember I just remember being so dehydrated, and then eventually someone in the band felt bad and threw me a water bottle. <laughs> Did you ever go to Skater's World? No. <laughs> me neither. It got closed down before I could go. One time I, I tried to go, and my mom was like, no. Oh. That's for teens and drugs. <laughs> and she's right, but I wanted to go. <laughs> Oh, you may have gone. Did you go 
It looks like maybe this was in 2004 that you won. Oh my god. Is that true? You're way ahead. Yeah, 2004. Maybe. That sounds about right. Wait, yeah, 2006 would probably be too late. No. Everyone. I feel like it was, huh. Because 2006, that's like, is that Black Parade yet? That's later. Starland. Because I'm seeing Hidden in Plain View, Midtown, Matchbooks, Romance, 2004. I feel like I thought it was right before, um, what's it called? I thought it was right before Christmas, but I don't really remember. <laughs> Looking up. Mm -hmm. Or now I'm kind of like, was it my chemical romance or was it that other group or was that's it kind anything? of like <laughs> Yeah, like I also am one I also like I may have like combined so many things in my brain together. Remember the used? Yes. I, I feel like they're similar. I think I saw them at Starland Ball. <laughs> <laughs> my chemical romance Hey Mary, we yeah. got some fan art. No way, Let's you're lying. See. Yeah, way. Well. <gasps> oh, so cute. Cute. KK. KK okay. Slider and Happy. Oh my god, I'm happy. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> that's so cute. That's really cool. Clap, well clap indeed. That is so cute. It's kind of smirking. I'm still Googling my chemical romance at Starling Bowling. <laughs> I think they played there a lot. I was Googling okay, it and I was like, have. wait, it could have been this show, could have been this show, could have been this show. Uh, I think huh. I only saw them at Starling Ballroom once. And then I saw them at a church basement at some point in time before then. Mm -hmm. And they they really did drive their little hearse there. Wow. <laughs> and I think it was in South Plainfield. Most of them were living at the time. They were too sad for me then. I only liked their first album was too sad for me. Mm. I liked I liked happy music. <laughs> Totes. I loved Listen Jake a lot. I liked Listen Jake. I can't front. I liked them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you ever like Christian ska? No. I, I accidentally was really got Christian at first. <laughs> <It's just ska. laughs> I didn't mean That's I didn't realize shame. it was Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever listen to Five Iron Frenzy? Um, I remember downloading like a couple songs on Kazaa. Oh but yes, I didn't yes. really get into their albums. <laughs> yeah, I got really into them and then my mom was like why are you listening to God so music? Funny. Did they have a... They had a Canada song. Oh, yes. I love that song. <laughs> That's what I had. I still, <laughs> to this day, I think of that song a lot. <laughs> like, right, And then I went to Canada finally, and I was like, wow, they really do have milk in a bag. <laughs> yeah. Iron, five iron frenzy wooden thugs. They wouldn't uh, lie to you. Yes. Oh, apparently they're playing in Brooklyn next month. That's so funny. It Wait, is, is that My Chemical Romance or is that um, Five Iron Frenzy? I don't know if I would go to Maybe, maybe I would. Maybe I'd see Five Iron Frenzy in 2021. Defeat. Yeah, a band from back then that was never super huge. And so it's kind of like, oh, that's like fun that they're getting together and doing that. <laughs> oh, it's less than Jake. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry. I keep hitting that. I would see less than Jake, TBH. <laughs> Can you still skank? I can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I just found out my favorite YouTube channel is Christian, but it's not going to stop me from liking them. 
I think um, they're really classy about it. What a, what kind of YouTube channel is it? <laughs> they're called How Ridiculous. Have you ever heard them? <laughs> We've been mentioned on the show before. They are three Australian guys, three mates, and they um, there's like a really, 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 really tall tower where they live. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the tower is. Maybe okay. it was used for broadcasting at some point. It's just a really, really tall structure. And so they go to the top of it and they drop stuff and they film it. <laughs> and so oh, they'll just have like a bunch of that's cameras. That's so good. They'll have like a GoPro falling with the thing. They'll have um, like a super duper, um, what do you call it? You know, a slow-mo, a high frame per second camera, mm -hmm. like watching it come down and like make impacts with sand <laughs> and it looks really cool and they pick things that look really cool and sometimes they get advanced they basically the whole gist of the channel is like wouldn't it look cool if we did this and then they do it um and it's like pretty wholesome and nice a recent video they did for instance was they built a soccer connect four net Mm -hmm. And so it was, you know, built so that you would have to hit the ball mm -hmm. into the top and then it would sprinkle oh, down. That's cool. And, um, yeah, they built this whole thing out of, uh, metal. Well, what, <laughs> what makes it Christian, though? Do they bring God into it? No, not at all. I was just looking at their official website. I, I was see. looking at their merch, actually. I don't know if they and they God had, okay. they had, like, a sub page, you know, oh. it's like, about merch. God. Our mission. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what it was called. It was done in like a very classy way. Yeah. It was just like, you know, oh, we uh, find strength in our faith and blah, blah, blah. And it had like a Bible quote, but they don't mention it at all on the channel. Anyways. That sounds, yeah, that sounds, if, if Christ helps them make great drop in slow motion videos. <laughs> yeah, I'm still Good. into them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> drop onto others. <laughs> <That's really funny. laughs> That's so funny. Have either of you ever heard of Holy Grounds, the coffee shop? I think it's a chain, a very small chain. No. Yeah. And it might even be defunct. But there was one in my town growing up, and um, it had really bad vibes. And similar to Skater's Worlds, my mom was like, you can not go to Holy Grounds. She was very afraid of um, evangelicals, which is kind of interesting to be afraid of. <laughs> Holy Grounds, that word. Uh oh, careful! Oh my god, I would draw Rexy. I did not buy the merch. I couldn't decide which one I wanted. I said, get myself a first seltzer. So yeah, there's this um, small chain of coffee shops and it's funded <laughs> by like evangelical Christians based in Florida, but they have like coffee shops up here and they have missionaries, like these old Christians fund young Christians to move around the country and go work at different holy grounds and like make smoothies and uh, <laughs> proselytize. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, my mother, well, my dad famously is an atheist. <laughs> <Badass>. <laughs> Known. He thinks it's really cool. <laughs> and, but both of my parents, you know, grew up with Catholic 
parents and within mm. Catholic culture or whatever. And, you know, all the things wrong with the Catholic Church, of which there are many, you gotta admit, evangelicalism is not one of them. They don't care if you convert or not. And uh, my mom did not want me to go to Holy Grounds at all because they would ask us for real middle schoolers like so what do you guys believe and um at the coffee shop yes yeah. and um one time i said like oh my family is catholic and she like the barista i forget what she said it was something that was very like manipulative and scary like oh that must be so hard <laughs> is that hard for you um and I was like, never mind. I get why I'm not allowed to come here. Um, I think also they said something weird to my Jewish friend. Oh. I know. So. So weird. Um, yeah. <laughs> so they would have music sometimes, live music. And there was a local um, skate park that was also evangelical. So, you what? know, I, there was definitely a threat of um, trying to lure children through, like, fun and cool activities. Um, a, a Christian skater? Yes, 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 yes. Huh. And um, so, yes, at the time, any sort of, like, um, musicians that were, like, officially Christian or anything like that, I was just, like, gross keep that out of it mm -hmm. and you know nowadays i find out how ridiculous is christian and that's fine you know mm -hmm. i mean if they were pushy about it then maybe not but they're not pushy about it. they're such nice guys wow that's fucked up Good lord. Interesting. I'll see you later. Wow. That is wild. Damn. I had a friend who was in foster care and her foster parents were like that. They were into holy grounds. <laughs> but nice of them to um, take her in. So is it Ginger? Is a food yeah, I, I threw a food fighter. Here's a food fighter. I was so Whoa. mad that I had to draw a member of food fighter for like wow. ginger in. Very nice. I'll take ginger. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, yes. Oh. She's really small. Ginger. Yeah, she's really small. Happy? Do you want to see your friend? Happy. I don't want to disturb him while he's sleeping. I'll come oh, to happy. him. Oh, he's happy. You're supposed to draw Dave Cook. Oh, thank you. What's <laughs> <laughs> funny is I was like, oh, I did draw Dave Cook, and then I realized that it was a about how accurate it is. Oh, so cute. How much does Happy weigh? 10 pounds. Oh, she's three pounds lighter than Ginger. Wow. Ginger's 13 pounds. Well, he's approximately 10. He could be I think 13. She's, I think Ginger's a little bigger, but she's so small. Ooh. Now, when I see other dogs, I'm like, they're so big. How old is she? Nine, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is, ha Some is Happy Christian? Is <laughs> yeah, uh, Happy, Happy Christian? He's, well, he's interesting. He's like, agnostic but he kind of like doesn't like to label himself he thinks it's kind of like 
ghost. He plays it safe. Yeah. He's, he's curious, just in case. He, def- he, like, he definitely finds comfort in, you know, knowing that we're all connected and, um, you know, that life continues before and after you die and, you know, all your loved ones after they die, they're still with you and that sort of thing. But he you know, doesn't have such stringent beliefs and he sort of, he sort of believes that like God is Allah is, he believes it's all like the same thing. So that's sort of what he thinks, but he really doesn't like to talk about it. (laughs) That's the subject. (laughs) He's very self-conscious. He doesn't want to, you know, come off as bloviating he he tells me that often so he's more of a listener than a talker oh so cute so sweet (laughs) i'll see happy is there a dog jesus (laughs) go see happy Wait, you want to call a yes, every dog is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's a good point. Ginger likes ska music. Oh, <laughs> very cool. I bet you would like to live in London, Ginger. <laughs> Want to go to London town? You could listen to second wave ska all the live long day. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you ever listen? Have you ever listened to NTS, the radio station? No. What's that? It's, it's like online radio and it's yeah. based in the UK. And not all their not all their DJs are British, but I play it all the time. And then I just I just talk to Ginger in a British accent constantly because <laughs> the DJs are like, keep it locked in for another hour. We're cracking on with some new sick bit, you know, and then I just like talked to, I just talked to Ginger in a in a fake a fake British accent. I'm not very good at doing the accents. That sounds good to me. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Where do you have pets? No pets. Mm. I'm a big cat so- guy though. Ooh! I love yeah. cats. I love cats. I grew up with the cats. Who's, who's the who's the person behind you framed? James Taylor. <laughs> I saw somebody early. Somebody made a comment. I forgot to uh, comment back. They thought it was Fabio. Oh, oh sure, yeah. That's James. Well, I'm sure it's James Taylor would love to hear that. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> I bought that as a prop, even though I like. James Taylor, so I'm happy to have it, and I framed it for that reason. But look very closely. This little piece of writing that says "Happy Birthday, Kate." <gasps> oh my goodness! Wow. Did we think? Did we think this? It's right here. Wow! Happy Birthday, Kate. Is that an autograph from James Taylor? Thank you, James or is that Taylor. Somebody just writing for like their daughter I don't, know. I don't know it's like life's mysteries mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a uh, you know so it's, it's a little early for my birthday present but i'll you know oh right yeah i can give it to you <laughs> i'll sell it to you oh, Brad so cute. did you hear i'm hanging out with a big dog lately Uh-oh. what kind of dog is that Oh, he's a pit, and he is so I cute. Love, I love pit bulls. His name is Blue. Oh. And they are friends. Are they friends? They are friends. <laughs> oh, my God, so cute. Oh, look, he's got a big stick in his mouth. How many How many happies is Blue? Um, Like eight or nine. <laughs> <laughs> He's really, really big and strong. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so cutie. 
That was really I love cute. You. Oh, this was them playing together for the first time. Happy doesn't generally like to play with other dogs. I tried to take a picture, oh. but it was dark and, you know, I got the blur, of course. But this is them playing tug. They're both tugging on a toy. Isn't that so cute? Oh. Big dog, little dog tug time. So cute. Oh, ooh, look at them go. Oh my god, big <laughs> and small. They're so cute. Happy, do you see your friend? Yeah, you like him. That's so cute. <laughs> okay, I gotta get back to trying. Happy early birthday, Kate. Oh, thank you so Happy much. Birthday. <laughs> thank you, James Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might try and start a different one. Ooh, okay. I'm just done with this one. I'm done with it. Looks this. great. Nice. Thank you. Looks nice. I mean, you can't improve on perfection. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I thought too. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mary, we got some more viewer art. Come on, let me see. Yeah, let's Come see. On. Oh, Ooh. very nice. <laughs> Music is my life. The lyrics are my story. That's great. <laughs> see, I'm trying to think of a game to play. Mm. Okay, what about... I get the playlist to your show. Oh, that's a good question. It's just some MP3s that my friend um, Jonah sent to me. That's nice. Jonah Mover, if you want to look him up and check out his whole discog. Lyric art. Ooh. Let's see. Okay. So, can you tell that this is a text message? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a message to you, Rudy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> think of your future. <laughs> There's you one. Oh, and then you just send a bunch of these emojis. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, have have you guys rewatched Enchanted Thomas lately? Yes, I did a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I remember that. I it's should rewatch it. <laughs> so good. You know, a lot of things were making me LOL. That was probably right before COVID. Yeah. Yeah, the second one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
The first one was like early September, right? Late August. Yes. Yeah. Back to school season. <laughs> In awe, my goodness. Well, right, you should be. <laughs> I, I mean, truly, also watching it in the control room, I was in awe. Well, so you know, good. When you got a great, a great group of people, you know, you know you're in good hands. It was true, it was so organized. Everyone, everyone did such a good job. Mm -hmm. I was just there as a fan. <laughs> I always find those type of like longer plays intimidating to write and you always do a great job. Thank you. I, I that's one thing I don't even like want to touch. It seems it seems like that story type of the style of storytelling is like mm -hmm. intimidating to me. Mm -hmm. I guess well, like when we would do Cartoon Monsoon, that was very like that. Written. That's a great example of that. I always uh -huh. felt like that was like so cool, but intimidating. Yeah. But then, uh, Sopranos <laughs> and mm. Enchanted Pumice to an extent. I, I feel like they sort of written with in mind, like no one has time to learn this and <laughs> it mm -hmm. should be like built so that if people make mistakes it's like fine and yeah. um if at least one person on stage knows where the scene is supposed to go or how it's supposed to end then you know it won't go off the rails <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm excited to go. I was too scared to go to the last Sopranos musical because I was midway through the last season. And I, <laughs> I was just like so scared that there, I like got tickets thinking maybe I'd be done watching it in time. Mm -hmm. And then I think I messaged you and also Nick or someone else just like, are there going to be spoilers? <laughs> and then I just oh, like so fast, like I just like kept like asking, and I was like, oh, if I'm really worried about it, like maybe I shouldn't go. Wow. And then I ultimately sold my tickets to my friends who went, and they oh. were like, yeah, there was no spoilers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> or at least that I wouldn't know. But you it's know. always really funny to us when people ask about spoilers or like, oh, I might not get it because I never watched it. And I'm like, half the cast hasn't seen it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's all like nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> like there's an episode where we go to a Slipknot concert. Like it's really not, <laughs> in, <laughs> um, not really in Sopranos canon other than using yeah. their names. <laughs> I am trying to find a fun text-based game. So now I'm a looking game. back at my emails. Because I know people suggested games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mary, I'm trying to draw a picture of Happy and it's terrifying. Oh, oh <laughs> this, is, this is a terrifying picture. <laughs> I'll show you it. I'll put it um, up. Okay, I found the game. Um, forest. Forest. The Gamer's Den.
What's up? Welcome to the Gamers Den, the most epic gaming streaming show in the world. Yes, today I'm with my crew, Brad and Kate, and we're gonna play a game submitted by Alice Lee. It's called um, unwinnable.com slash WP content slash uploads <laughs> and it is a text-based game about having sex in a club. Here we go. Okay, so the crowd keeps. <laughs> 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 the bass of the music. You can feel it vibrate through your fingertips. Warm feeling of the of rum sticky on your throat. Ice cracks in the glass. <laughs> you put arm to your lips and bite. Okay, oh, I think happy. we should turn rabbit ravenously to the to regard the dance floor. I think, yeah. Okay, you don't go home with strangers in case you end up dismembered in a freezer. This means that here at the dance club, you have to go home with someone that you already know: Matthew, Amen. John, Mark, or Luke. Or Luke. What do you guys think, and why? Uh, I don't want to be mean, but these are like the worst names. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I guess most Lukes I've met are nice. I'm just gonna say I'm Luke. I'm gonna say Luke. He's a, kind of a simple, nice guy. Probably has a nice Thanksgiving. Okay. Probably a nice guy. Yeah, I think I also would go home with Luke because, you know, I feel like he's the kind of guy that. You know, you're sort of like in the mood, you've been dancing, that like it could go in that direction, but if you just want to like hang out and like watch a movie, I feel like he would be like totally, you know, he'd be down for whatever. So I think he would be a great person to hang out with. Yes, they are books of the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are going home with Luke. Luke is happy. Luke's a dog? <laughs> You turn siren eyes to Luke. Ooh. Luke is happy. Is handsome. Is smarter than you. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. So he's Good happy and handsome, but he's smarter than us. Which, I don't know, some people that's fine. Some people, you know, they want to be the smart one. So should we initiate fuck plan or should we go, eh, I could do better? Personally, mm -hmm. well, yeah, I could do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel same because like I was saying before, I feel so comfortable with Luke that we could totally just watch a movie vibes. Um, um, oh, wait, no, wait, no, I said that wrong. Um, my vote is for initiate fuck plan so because because he gives me totally like friends I can watch movies with vibe or have sex with if I end up in that kind of mood when we get to his place. The fact that he's smarter than me doesn't bother me because like we're such good <laughs> friends and he's such a good guy. So I Brad, support you. I know break my vote. Do you want to come up with a fuck plan or do you want to keep looking around the club? You know, I mean, I, looking around the club could be a little yeah, more Yeah, look fun. around the club. Yeah. I can do better. I can do better. <laughs> I can do better. Okay. Give so, Matthew a shot. Yeah, let's go with Matthew. Honestly, yeah. This is you turn siren eyes to Matthew. Matthew is tall, disheveled, <laughs> and he makes you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say we can tough. do better just so we can go through all of these games. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. This is tough because, you know, the three great qualities, I have to say. Um, and disheveled, you know, sort of gives him that sort of like bad boy rocker look, which I'm totally into. So, you know, I'm kind <laughs> of like feeling Matthew, but you know, I'm also getting that what's behind door number three feeling. And I want to, you know, yeah. see what else Maybe is going on. Maybe if you go on. back to Matthew, he'll still be yeah. here. I hope so. <laughs> Maybe he'll change his name to Matt by the time we get back. Yeah, yeah. Go by Matt. Well, what do you guys think? John, John or John? Mark? It's John. Let's okay, check okay. in on John. John is I'm tall. Sorry. Okay. Dress is smart. I don't care that much. <laughs> Just don't dress terrible. Oh, kind well, that goes a nice. long way. That goes I, a long th way. Th I think that's deceiving, though. Yeah. Ooh, uh, dress is smart. Just a nice, kind smile. Mm. Mm. 
it's like code for boring, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, if this is their top quality, is oof. Yeah, kind of <laughs> boring. <laughs> okay, Mark. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, okay, Mark. <laughs> Mark Norris, well, this is kind of interesting because this is so rude, but also we're a little bit like. Should we turn on? Yeah, Let's it's a it. challenge for us. And we don't know why. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Perhaps your charm and talent aren't totally impotent as an aphrodisiac. Huh. He sounds complicated. Definitely. Well, I'm glad that these other guys are still available, I think. I mean, we haven't clicked on anyone a second time, but... We was Matthew the hot one? Plan. Which one was disheveled? Uh, Matthew. Matthew. Okay, he's definitely the hottest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Initiate fuck plan. <laughs> Matthew. 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 <laughs> Hi. Ew. Sorry. Light Light sparkle. sparkle. <laughs> Music is loud. You both whirl around bashing people <laughs> in the elbows. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm observing small dresses for science. You grin. You look hot, he says appreciatively. Do I also look hot? And then we say, um, you look like Matthew with glow sticks on, like a sort of glow stick holder, Matthew. And then Matthew says, would you sleep with such a man? <laughs> and then we say, I definitely would. I mean, we would certainly be able to see what we were doing. What with all the glow sticks? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No way. <laughs> no. Oh. Is him back or investigate? Uh, My boot is vibrating. <laughs> oh, like when you used to put your phone in your boot? Oh. Mm -hmm. I used to do that. I mean, he's he so hot. He's so hot, and this is going so well. But... Could be something good. Okay, so we dig out our phone from the boot. It's padded. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Shit, shit. Oh, that is Thank very, god for very messy, messy. messy. I'm sorry, but abort the dickhead and maybe tell him off on the way out, don't you mm. think? Or? <laughs> Huh? I don't. I. I don't really want to sleep with him personally, the married fellow. Mm -hmm. so I'll cancel. I'll cancel. Okay. Okay. So now we're starting from the top. All right. Ooh, this is so tough. Ugh. Let's go back to Luke. Okay. He's still there. Second choice. Yeah. He is happy. I mean. Is he smarter than me, or does he think he's smarter than me? Exactly, yes. exactly. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna say, okay, so that last one that we did, we initiated a fuck plan, but we did, you know, we were able to get out of it and check our phone. So I'm gonna say, let's initiate a fuck plan, and if we're not feeling it, we can, you know, be like, bye. Mm -hmm. Hey, we say to Luke. Luke gets in close. And he <laughs> pushes an arm around our waist. And we dance. The beat ruptures, bass through your feet, into your eyelashes. Electric feel <laughs> strokes the crowd. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Everyone's hearts beat together. It's always the show I was at. Well, all along the Western Front, people learning to receive. She got power in her hand to shock like you won't believe. When he smiles at you, he means it, and it crushes you because there is something chemical missing. Something gone or never there. The thing that has your fingertips feels 
feel like they are getting frostbite when you touch skin. The smell of his... Oh. Oh! I see. I was a little bit like, wait, what's this? Is this like lyrics? Am I supposed to be reading this a certain way? But now I'm getting the gist down at the bottom that he is feeling chemistry. We are not feeling chemistry. Hmm. What do you think? Not okay. for you. Oh. Saw her in the Amazon. What? Look. No, what are you talking? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, like he likes us so much. And so we're, we're we a little great. bit like, mm, we're feeling a little bad because we know that we don't like him as much as he likes us. And so we're sort of like, maybe I shouldn't go home with him because I don't want to like send mm -hmm. the wrong message and hurt his feelings. But, you know, the music has got us feeling a certain way. Okay, so we're dancing closer, and the music, you know, it gets us a little warmed up. Okay. 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 So what do you think? My heart Are is yearning. Lyrics? Paris is, I think it is. <laughs> Um, is it, are, are we yearning and burning or is it, it's not love, it's just Paris. Hmm. <laughs> I feel torn, I feel torn because he is fun and cute, but again, I don't want to like lead him on. <laughs> I'm not quite certain where each of these will take us. Yeah, I exactly. If you click the second true. one, it still could go further. Definitely. It's not love, it's just Paris. When in Paris. Ooh, that's a good point. I think I think we'll select the second one because we want to be upfront with him and, you know, say like, hey, this, this is how I'm feeling about things. Luke, you say, your heart spilling into your lungs like Plato through a sieve. Luke, I don't like you enough. I think you would get hurt. We are friends and I would hurt you. He tells you that you are conceited to have thought that oh, no. he liked you. Oh no. He melts into the crowd, upset. He obviously did like you. Yes, you think, yes. Better this than to lose him completely. Damn. Wow. Plot twist. Oh my God, That I feel emotional now. Oh my gosh. I... You guys got real attitudes. So is it John? Wait, who did we just talk to? Ugh. Is that John's Luke Matthew? Oh, it's Luke. Okay. Should we do Mark and then we end up with boring John? Wait, every, which one was a bore? <laughs> Mark. We're going to go to Mark. He's going to mug us off in the words uh, of the Brits. Whatever. And then maybe he'll be charming. Okay, John. And we are charming and talented. Okay. Let's go for well, it. Well, actually, I, I like this plan because some of those other guys, and especially the last one, you know, it was sort of like we're already such good friends with them that, like, it would make things weird even if we both were like, we won't make this weird. It would. And, like, our friends also might, like, act weird when we're all in the same room. And so I think, you know, what's cool about Mark is that we're, like, acquaintances. We don't know him that well seems like a safe person to have sex with emotion wise <laughs> emotionally so, <laughs> initiate fuck let's time. do it you put down your empty glass and elbow through the crowd towards him smoothing down your dress you can feel feathers float off the back and you say fuck fuck this dress out loud but no one can hear or cares to hear they are dancing and the crowd is moving like a tide pushing and pulling you and you love it and you want it to engulf you Patty pulls you aside sharply. Are you going to talk to Mark? She says. You know or something. Don't you remember what he did to you? Uh, maybe he's changed. Damn. We complain. He made that girl cry over there. She reasons. She points at a girl. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is, this guy is bad news. I don't want to go home with him. 
No one is comforting her. She is an accepted casualty of the night. Well, that could be me in like an hour. This is madness, she says. Sex is madness, that we, we say to her. And I am half of it. <laughs> hey, Mark. Okay, so do we go continue the plan or are we like, eh? Never mind. He actually is kind of an asshole. She's right. Uh, as much as I did want us to go home with someone, I cannot go home with this guy. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. oh, gross. <laughs> We're left with John. John. Okay. Boring. Well, you know, boring. Boring is stable at least. Okay. Initiate. <laughs> plan. Hey, John. You purr. In your head, you imagine yourself at the end of the night, peeling your clothes off to reveal your naked <laughs> twenty-something <laughs> skin, and knowing you look good. <laughs> I so love funny. my twenty-something skin. <laughs> Knowing you look good and thinking, God, someone should see this. More people should see this before I'm old and my skin loses this tautness. My body tries to bloom. More people should see me hot instead of wait until I'm 40 and happy and have me be accomplished and smug and grandiose. I'm happy, but not young anymore. Not the naked, unpretentious sylphs in this mirror right now. The one with artless bruises from falling over laughing, and the glossy hair, the full mouth, the way eyeliner sits on the eyelid, smoky, and the forced smile built from being alone. That look in the mirror will not happen this time. You will take someone home, because really, you are content, apart from where everyone else tells you you have failed, which is in their voice when they ask you, who is walking you home? Because they don't want to have to do it again. They have someone waiting. Your 20s love you, don't they, wild child? Okay, random. I mean, I'm 31, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm also 31, but um, I we're, we're taught. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, he smiles shyly. Can I buy you a drink? We say, sure, any kind of beer is fine. He says, you always dress well, we say. Thanks, I try hard to look good. You know how Aaron always says we'd be the best reps dressed couple if we ever got together? Ha ha, he says, yeah. You hand him his beer and you sip yours. Why don't we go home together tonight? Ooh. It isn't really a question. It is a statement pretending to be a question. The best thing about straight men is their face when you ask them straight up. Serious, he says. Deadly, we say. He starts to look troubled. Okay, and we're like, what is that about? Uh, you are not and never have been attracted to me. Ooh. You're pretty hot. Then what? Me and Mark are pretty good. Wait, what's this? Oh, 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 okay, okay. And so we say, you're pretty hot. And... Oh, it's me are good oh Mary how's your audio <laughs> I guess I can read this. Me and Mark are pretty good friends. <laughs> hello, hello. I can hear you a little bit. A little bit better. Okay. Did he tell you not to sleep with me? He avoids your eyes. We shouldn't sleep together. It would be weird because of him. Right, you say. Right. The horror. You look down at your arm. Look. <laughs> Guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, we can't press it. I'm biting my nails. Hey. Testing. One, two. I can hear you great. Yay. Okay, wow. <laughs> 
Okay, so you know the horror, the horror, etc. <laughs> um, we're kind of bums, you know. We're we're bums, but in a way, it is a little bit of ego boost because it's like Mark likes you so much, and in sort of a sick way, we get pleasure from that. What? Okay. 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 Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, you know what? I think that's okay because you don't have to go home with someone all the time. In fact, um, sometimes it's nice to not go home with someone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, we might be getting too drunk. Team Patty. Yes! <laughs> And yeah, Patty is a really good friend. So that's a good point. <laughs> wow. Well, that was an exciting game, I have to say. Oh, is that the end? You did it? I think so, because now we're back. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is this different from before? The crowd is still heaving. I've also never met a bad Patty. What the hell? I, I don't know about this. Anyways. In my mind, wow. we, uh, you know, hydrated and um, uh, were responsibly sober and did whatever we wanted to do. Can't figure out my camera situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's look great. I don't know where to look. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well. What? Patty wrote that letter is what I think. Yeah, I think what? it was Patty. That's my guess. <laughs> Good angles. Patty's a real friend. Totes. Team Patty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Or are we in love with her? It really goes to show the love of a good friend, um, you know, dwarfs a night of passion. Platonic or romantic, yeah. I always say that. <laughs> mm hmm. Can I always watch that movie with Patty? Mm hmm. Bye. Do we have more art to look at? Oh, what's this? What's this? Ugh. Music is my life. The lyrics are my story. Oh, that's so good. Very. Cool. I don't know what those lyrics are from, but that's a great piece of art. I don't know either. I was hoping that one of you would say, oh, it's that song by so-and-so. And I'd say, uh, Haha, yeah, I know that. <laughs> uh, this seems like something that maybe a, a hip young person would know. Does anyone know? I'll Google it. Take those big gay hands and put them on my body. Forrest, if I turn off, can I turn off this camera in front of me, but then keep the audio on it? Let's see if that works. Looks like that's from a band called Partner, and the song is called Big Gay Hands. I'll post a link to the band camp. Yeah, back. Oh, and a mod has to check it. <laughs> auto mods. I don't know what an auto mod is. Oh, there it went through. Big Gay Hands by Partner. That's a good song. Let's see it. Let's see the Lisa Frank style vampire. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I just want to see if you can hear me. <laughs> I can hear you. Yay. You sound and look great. Yay. Everything's fixed. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, what goodness. else you got pouring in? Pour cool. Also. Oh, cool. Oh, that's, oh, I get it. That's cool. One, one word from you and I would jump off the ledge. I'm on baby. Ooh. Okay. MySpace vibe. AIM buddy profile. Oh, it's vibe. Mitski. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> I don't even know what Mitski song that's from. <laughs> Get these rocks. You know, music is my life. The lyrics are my story. It has really first, turned first out first to be a very uh, a fruitful theme. Oh, look at this. Who's that? Is that the character? Is that Hugh Grant? Hugh Grant? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I never saw this film. But what I is hear that? It's good. Music and lyrics. Oh. <laughs> I hear it's good. Do you guys hear it's good? I hear it's good. Ooh. The Lisa Frank Vamp gal is going to get posted soon. <gasps> I don't. Th via Steph Stefan. I don't know <laughs> what that means. Do you like how close I have to get to the screen to read the comments? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, mine too. But, mm. <laughs> oh, you know what Music I can do? Music and lyrics is charming. We should watch it. I have an okay, addition to, to make <laughs> for my happy, happy drawing. Maybe I won't ruin the surprise. We have the Lisa Frank vampire. Let's see oh, it. Show us. Whoa. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a really nice drawing. Cool. That's really cool. And who is... Who is the vamp... Is the vampire based off of something? Or just like a vampire in general. It looks nice. Mm. Just, a, just vampire, a general yeah. vampire. Totes. I like general vampires. Mm -hmm. It's Halloween and fall are around the corner. It's true. I mean, have you guys been to, you know, your local drugstore? I haven't. Oh, yeah. They got candy and decorations and things. Do they really? Do you like my uh, addition? Dollar Tree does. Oh, happy! I like that. Happy's I got like some ho some horrifying uh, googly eyes now. I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> the local Dollar Tree by me closed. Hmm. Yeah, but I I also have like. Bins of Halloween decorations. Of course. <laughs> we decorated my apartment like when was that? Like April of 2020, <laughs> and just had a Halloween party. <laughs> and then we just left the it's decorations up for it's a fun. while. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas in July, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Halloween, Halloween in April. It's a fun aesthetic. No, I don't blame you. Yeah, I have a lot of. I have a lot of year-long Halloween decorations. Has it been a year of NHPP? I don't think it has, has it? When was the first show? I was thinking about this yesterday because I was like, did we have a Halloween show? And then I remembered yes, because I was dressed as Napoleon Dynamite. Um, oh my god, so cute! <laughs> It must have started in October or September, I think. I think. I think it started in late September. Mm. Oh. Mm. Coming up. Wow. What should we do? Oh, 
for mm. special painting. What if we did a Quiplash Spectacular? <laughs> oh, cute. Forrest, are we allowed to play Jackbox, game, Jackbox games? Copyright wise? I bet they probably like people playing their games, right? Yeah, I think so. I think you can play that on Twitch. I think a Quiplash Spectacular mm -hmm. could be a fun birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Whiplash is dang. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's getting to be that time. Do we want to maybe like show like our final drawings? Yeah, I'll show you it. I'll show you what I'm making right now, and I I hope it hope it gets a little bit better in these next ten seconds. Let's see. This is my shell. It's like orangish. Nice. That's oh, so pretty. And here's last week's shell. You're so talented. Like blue. So talented. Picture these in a shore Big house. Won't that look nice? Oh, that would be lovely. Ooh. I want to go to a shore house. Mm-hmm. This is my final. I did. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Mustang outside the dairy bar. Ooh. Dairy bar. Oh, you have to decide what's playing, right? Yeah. I heard earlier somebody said CCR. Oh, that makes oh. sense. And you know what? I was going to be smart and change it up. We're going to turn up the CCR. Woo! That's what we're doing. Who, right. who does the who, who does the song? And we're rolling in the deep. Do, 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 do. Uh, uh, Steely Dan, uh, as in real, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that Steely Dan? Yeah, real in the New Year's, yep. Yeah. Oh, that was also played at ShopRite when I worked. I sure. could hear that playing. I could see why. <laughs> Chill vibe. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I, I added a, a only a slightly horrifying Mary to my ah! picture of, <laughs> to my it. picture yeah, of Happy. I love my lips. <laughs> <laughs> So what is that? Googly cool. eyes? Yeah, I put googly eyes. Oh, on. cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. So my little Mary and my little happy have googly eyes. And actually the googly eyes help. They help. They help make these look. They help this look a little bit better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> Beautiful art. Before Speaking of beautiful have... art, yeah. yeah. Come on, yeah, let this, me see. This from Butts Janitals. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, the day the music died. Uh, 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 this American snap, Pie, snap, that snap. song, right? Mm -hmm, the song mm -hmm. that then Will, uh, Weird Al parodied about Star Wars. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> he did them all, didn't he? <laughs> 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 really got them all. Very cool. Well, we would love it if you supported the show at plantscum.live or got our cute merch at plantscum.live slash merch. Now, I think, Kate and Brad, I think we should all go around and say something that we're grateful for, and then the show will be <laughs> oh, done. <God. laughs> I'll go oh, first. let's see. Okay, I'm grateful for, um, I'm grateful for dogs because dogs are so nice and loving and cuddly and they just have kind spirits. There I go. I'm thankful for the 12 pack of watermelon seltzer Woo! I'm drinking. Yeah. Keeping, keeping me healthy and, and refreshed. Each and Very nice. God, I've been drinking too much seltzer. I was wondering why you were so refreshed. But. So many seltzers. <laughs> uh, I got a seltzer maker, and it was maybe $60, oh. but it is easily the best the best purchase. Best oh, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I'll say that I'm thankful for googly eyes, because I like to put Yay. them on everything. 
It's a whole case. <laughs> I have multiple cases. I have probably like thousands of googly eyes. Really? That's wow. awesome. I mean, they're cool. There's so many. My clothes, <laughs> picture frames, props. Mm. For a while, I would just give people calendars from the dollar store and I would just put googly eyes on all the animals in the in the calendar and I did that for two years and then my family was like we don't want this anymore <laughs> I was like I don't know what to get you but okay well, yeah what do you say Kate and Brad would you want to wave at the camera until Forrest turns off the stream <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Thank you for having us, Mary. It's so fun. Yeah, thanks for having Thank us, Mary. Thank you for Mary. coming on. Thank you for all We're the people watching. Guests. Thanks for coming in. See you next week, everybody. Goodbye. Right.